Welcome back. A controversial billboard campaign by the group Go Vegan World has caused anger among farmers by claiming dairy takes babies from their mothers and uh, cows trust us but we butcher them. Now, is this campaign deliberately intended to provoke or are farmers overreacting to these billboards? Well, with me, Pat McCormick, President of the Irish Creamery Milk Suppliers Association and Sandra Higgins, founder of Go Vegan World. Sandra, why are you doing this? Uh, let me say at the beginning, Pat, that this is not an anti-farmer campaign. It looks like it's, it on the face of it, doesn't well, it? It's not. It's not even an anti-dairy campaign. It's an informative campaign that educates the public about facts that they mightn't be aware of. And the reaction we've got to the, to the campaign shows that we were right in our estimation. That it tells them facts about standard legal practice, the standard legal things that we do to other animals in order to put them on our plates or on our backs or in laboratories or in circuses or zoos. And do you believe that animals have equal rights to humans? They don't have the same rights as us, but they have equal rights in that we, they have a right to have their interests respected because they are sentient. And we have incontrovertible evidence mm. that demonstrates the sentience in, in other animals. So they have the right not to be... animals do feel. They feel. So yeah. they have the, the right not but to But they be... don't have the same set of emotional responses. They, like you talk to people who have dogs or any domestic animals, they don't really have a sense of time. You know, they're happy to sit there staring out the window all day at nothing. <laughs> Whereas humans are not that way. They, they have the same capacity for physical and emotional feelings as humans. And in terms of what we do to them, mm. it's not so much how they... How, how they enjoy or their self-awareness of time okay. that matters it's that they have rights and we are using them as if they were inanimate okay. objects and to meet our just, just before our to Pat, the, the, you know animals do eat animals I think we should all the time the, the predator the and the prey I mean every animal pretty much in the wild is either predator or prey and sometimes both the problem that we need to focus on is our behavior what we're doing to other animals is unjust it's unnecessary <laughs> because we have no need to consume or use okay, we other could animals. Have a completely plant based we diet. could and be very healthy Pat, what, what do you healthy. say what's your reaction to the campaign first of all I think the campaign is <clears throat> is misleading I think the campaign if we talk about an educational campaign I think there should be an entire story told uh, it's very much... Are they not right, though, that it's, newborn it's, calves are taken away from their mothers fairly quickly? They, they, they are taken away from their mothers for, for, for health reasons. They are taken away from their mothers, and that's where you take the one sentence out of the book, when in actual fact it's a book could be written. A farmer takes his calf from the mother in order to ensure that there's adequate uh, colostrum taken in to build up antibodies, to be resistant to any infections that may be in the area. They are put with their peers on straw bedding, uh, well-ventilated, dry airy houses uh, with their peers uh, to, live, to live life, uh, go to grass and come back ultimately into the herd, into the dairy herd again. They don't separate them in the suckler industry though, in the beef industry. So it's not an innate factor of cows and calves that all cows who are born are subject to illness. They're separated from their mothers. First of all, they're deliberately impregnated so that we can exploit their female reproductive capacity to lactate and produce milk the same as a, a, hu a human does for her baby. They're separated not to safeguard their health, they're separated so that we can profit from something that we don't need for our health. When, when you that say, by the way, they're deliberately impregnated, I mean, if you let a herd of cows and a bull together in a field, they'll get impregnated. And the, the cow may not be able to say no. If they weren't our property, that wouldn't, that wouldn't matter. We no. deliberately impregnate them so that they, they lactate when they've given birth, just like uh, human and, women. And we, we do impregnate uh, AI cows, yes, and there's serious consideration given to the type of bull that's used on the particular cow to minimise any difficulties in calvins. Well, Pat, go back once, to my point. Once, no, 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 no. You're, Once, you're saying that they're separated sorry, no, I didn't, because... I didn't interrupt you, to be fair, Sandra. I and that's why, you, yeah, and that's why now, in fairness, yeah. Pat, I need the opportunity to give this what is is required two sides to a story right when the cow is separated from the calf it is necessary for a dairy cow to be separated because other than that their other will fall into mishealth but why would they would you impregnate them if they're if they're so at risk that they're that their babies are going to be ill why would they have babies in the first place pat Look, why would you impregnate the, the, them the reality of it is we must remember where the human population has evolved from and how it has evolved it has evolved over a period of time uh, on the back of, of the consumption of dairy produce, right? No, no it hasn't evolved we, we, on the back well, of dairy the, the reality produce. of it is the diet, the diet of the human use. population 
has been over the last number of decades and indeed over the last number of, right. of I generations. Mean, I mean, has been fairness, a, a, I just, a reliant on a dairy I just product. wanted to say this, just, I mean, we have been eating cheese as humankind for a long time. But we have been we've been doing milk. a we lot of things for a long time. That doesn't justify what we do now. Dairy is not essential, an essential part of our evolution. For a long time we didn't get, yeah. use other animals as foods. So it has nothing to do with our evolution. That's not a justification for commodifying okay. and hurting so, them. So, so. And there are a lot of other interesting sectional points that viewers need to be aware of. The, the, the damage that animal agriculture contributes to the environment, the, the fact that uh, consuming animal products is detrimental for human health. I, I, if people are not even interested in animal rights, then fair. there are many human rights issues that fair, they need Pat, to be aware of. To be fair, Pat, we've given decades reading that butter was bad for us, and that is a, a dairy product. Over the last number of years, we've read, and um, research has shown that butter is a very, very valuable part of one's diet. Research we shows saw, that we animal saw, we products are not good We saw for butter reach health. record peak prices during 2017. Okay. Uh, prices Zoe, that we saw as it happens, uh, Zoe Kavanagh is the chief executive of the National Dairy Council. Zoe, uh, this business, we actually don't need dairy in our diet, and it's not good for us. Well, if you look at the dietary guidelines from every country around the world, they include dairy. And the reason no, they, they include dairy is in because the of their nutrient richness. Recently. And one of the things that we're very fortunate to have here in Ireland is a, a grass-based system where our animals are grazing outdoors 300 days of the year, providing us with a nutrient-rich portfolio of milk, yogurt and cheese. And if you had took that out of the diet and, say, for example, didn't have those products available to you, to replace the calcium that's found in a glass of milk, you'd need to be eating 63 Brussels sprouts. So, really, dairy okay. in the diet well, is, is uh, really Laura important. Brooks, <laughs> uh, you, you are vegan? Yes, I am. Uh, what do you say to that? It's an easy way to get your calcium rather than eating 63 stalks of broccoli. No, absolutely not. I've been a vegan for 15 years and I have no health issues. You can get all the calcium you need from the likes of soy milk, vegetables. There's so many alternatives. It so, is not soy milk necessary. is not milk, though, is it? It's something they call milk. Well, it's, it's like it's almond plant, milk. It's, it's not plant, milk. It's, it's plant-based plant milk. It's still milk. It's plant based milk. It's just not from a cow. And people need to be looking into these alternatives and thinking about veganism, not just in terms of health and cruelty, but about consent. No animal gives itself willingly to be consumed or used by a human. This is exploitation and people need to wake up to this reality of what they're doing. Um, Zoe, uh, you know, no consent with the animals. Now, I did make the point earlier, Lauren, that, you know, dog eat dog, animals kill animals. Sometimes they do it for fun, like the fox in the hen house, uh, or a cat, a well-fed cat plays with a mouse, and sometimes they actually do it for food. The point is, we have a choice. These animals do not have a choice. We have alternative options, and if you can choose to make a kinder decision when you're in a supermarket, why not take it? Okay, so why not make a kinder decision? So we know in Ireland 2% of the population um, practice a vegan diet, and on an individual level, you can have a diet that will keep you fit, healthy and well. But looking at a population level here in Ireland, to pursue a plant-based diet would simply lead us to have a nutrient deficit within the population, ultimately leading to the early onset of osteoporosis, issues with, with muscles, issues with energy. Because if you look at what dairy provides in the diet, 50% of the calcium, 50% of the B vitamins, iodine for cognitive function, protein for muscle health, we would be faced with a massive population health issue if we pursued a vegan right. diet at that level. No, that is absolutely ridiculous. As I said, I've been a vegan for 15 years. I have no health issues and people can get all the nutrients they need from a plant-based diet and if they want help they can contact Sandra at Go Vegan World. She sends out uh, vegan information packs, so many animal rights groups do. We can show you how to do it right, give you the nutrition charts, the recipes, but think about the ethics. That's what we want to make a point here with this. Think about what's right, what's morally right and what we're doing to these animals. They do not have a choice but we have the choice to be kind and everyone who has this choice right. should make that decision. Okay, we will have to leave it there. It's a very interesting uh, topic and I know we will come back to it.